Hey, 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 Sea Eaters. So I just went through the drive through of McDonald's. And so I was sitting and waiting, sitting and waiting, sitting and waiting. And uh, I see now that they have reserved. I don't know, maybe I misunderstood. But anyway, they tell me to wait for my order and I moved down and I guess they lost me <laughs> so um, I got some and they gave me uh, a pie to um, because I was waiting I wait for 10 minutes according to the, the time the date I mean the time stamp that was on my receipt up to the time that um, I was sitting there waiting and I'm just like, okay, I'm just gonna have to go inside. I shouldn't have moved, but anyway. So I got 10 piece chicken nuggets, fries, and a sweet tea. So, um, yeah. This is to make up for last, was it last week, two weeks ago, I did a, a McDonald's mukbang, but it was a chicken sandwich, and I lost the footage, so hopefully I will not lose this footage, and um, I'm not really an apple pie person, but maybe I'll try it and see how um, it turns out, so it's Sunday, came from church and heard another inspirational message and um yeah it was really really good I took some I took good notes sometimes I I'm so I get so into the message that I forget to take notes and so going back to the last um not the last one of the prior uh, videos I, I was talking about I think it was last <laughs> last Sunday I was eating um, McDonald's fries so I think I'm a McDonald's fry uh, fan now but anyway I was talking I was posing a question do you take notes you know when you uh, go to church or when you are getting some valuable information and I talked about how I take notes and how I refer back to them refer back to the notes, refer back to the scriptures, and, um, yeah, so, um, I took quite a bit of notes, um, I also, when I listened to, uh, what's it, TD Jakes, he comes on every, was it Monday through Friday, uh, on TVN, I take notes, I, matter of fact, it's funny because some of them I can, I have it saved on an app and I could just go in that app and and um, <laughs> if I get the title right most of the times I get the title right just search for the title and I'll find my notes and so I'll add to the notes take away from the notes you know because I you know prior to maybe I missed something and uh, when I watch it again I will add to it or um, you know, like I said, take something away for, from it or, or, or gain something that I didn't get the first time I, I saw the message. So, um, yeah. So it helps my um, note-taking ability. <laughs> it helps me to retain information. Like I said, um, that uh, message that I heard at my home church about forgiveness and what you should do and and you know all of that that really helped me during a trying time in my um, my life and so I'm in here I'm getting ready to go inside and um, we're going to chat and oh lord I'm back in here kind of crazy um we're going to chat and talk about some things. So, ooh, okay, wow. I'm going to 
bust through the garage door. Okay. Part in my garage. It's, I'm trying to get it all. Okay. I'm coming back. And seats and so I'm on my way home um, just did a short exercise routine today um, I missed my exercise mates I don't know what happened well one of them I ran into one of them she said that she wasn't going to exercise or yeah until Wednesday but then Wednesday I'm gonna be on vacation so um, and then the other person I don't know where she is but anyway so I decided I'm just going to do 15 minutes I normally do 30 minutes on the elliptical but anyway so um, hope everyone's um, weekend was good and their week so today I had I I switched per okay ladies got a question for you so I switched purses during the weekend and I didn't want to, I have so much stuff in my, I was like, what is this that's weighing? Why is my purse so heavy? And I looked in there, I had a, a ton of change. And, um, and then I got all these unnecessary keys that I'm hanging around. I've been carrying for years. And so, wow, <laughs> that could be a, a symbol of some other stuff but anyway um got these keys and so um i have uh my work badge and i have some keys that i need to get in my office and to be able to work and <laughs> i thought i put it in the bag that i'm carrying now but i do not have it in there and I, this morning something told me to check the old bag and i was just ah i got everything and i did so um, you know, question ladies, how often do you clean out your bag? Do you find that um, the longer that you carry it, the heavier it gets? And, you know, I called myself about a year ago carrying something smaller because I figure if it's smaller, then I can't put all that crap in there. Um, I have a tendency to hold on to items things that I probably don't even need um, even with with mail I've gotten a little bit better but even with that you know if I see some coupons and something like that I'll be like let me you know I'm gonna sit this to the side or I'm gonna carry it in my purse because while I'm in the store I could use this coupon next time I buy this item and so I get in the store um, there's a, a store called that I like to frequent it's called Ollie's and they send me a coupon for 15% off, 20% off, and and the uh, I think I received it, and maybe about two, three weeks later, I was in Ollie's and didn't even think about using that coupon. And right when I stepped out of the store, I don't know if I could have went back in, but anyway, when I stepped out of the store and got in the car, I was looking in my purse for something, and I saw the Ollie's coupon and I was so mad at myself and I was like man I could have got 15% off of this it wasn't a lot I think I spent like 30 40 dollars but that's enough by the 50 15 percent of that hey I could have used that right I could have uh, kept those extra dollars in my pocket you know um, so um, let me know ladies what you think about um, that like your purse and do you change your purse I have a friend that changes she cleans out her purse every week and maybe perhaps I should adopt that um, <laughs> and I don't because like I said I am a kind of like a hoarder and I hold on to papers and receipts and I think I should hold on to uh, receipts so uh, <laughs> but not all you know a, a full year or two years <laughs> worth of receipts you know because that would definitely weigh down um, your purse and to uh, take the change that I have and put it into a container and just let it build up 
and that could be another uh, form of savings for me um, that I have. But speaking of savings, there are a couple of apps that I've opened the end of last year, I think it was. One is called Acorns and the other one is called Digit. And what they do is you sync your uh, you sync your debit card or credit card to these. Oh, and there's another app, Dosh, and so that one, yeah. You have to have it a, a debit card or a credit card. You can like some of these apps. You can link your prepaid card if you have one, like your PayPal or something like that. But um, Acorns. And digit, you take your, you know, your, your debit card and sync it, link it to this account. And when you're out shopping, it rounds up. Let's, for instance, if I purchase something for ten dollars and fifty cents, um, it will take a, the fifty cents and put it towards your savings. And so, uh, this ha uh, helped me quite a bit. Um, I think it was, was it beginning. Actually, okay, I opened it up in end of, I say about this time last year, and um, <clears throat> I had a bit of a uh, nice bit of saving, wasn't a lot, a lot but it was something, <laughs> and um, I used that, and then Digit um, had quite a bit of error, and I was able to, to use that, so savings, the key word is savings, you're supposed to save, but <laughs> that uh, savings was able to help me at those particular um, times but um, so yeah check them out if you haven't already uh, digit and the other one is acorns a lot of people have heard of it, acorns there's another one called stash and another I want to say there's another one too but I can't I can't think of the name of it so it's really, really hot. It's 97 degrees, and I have the air on, and it feels like like I ain't got the air on. Well, I shouldn't say it doesn't. It feels like I don't have it on. It just feels like I have it on a low, and it's not a really high. So, uh, but yeah, it's really, really hot. So. Uh, those things uh, about exercise and saving money in your purse and man because they, they you know they've got these purses if you call them purses man purses or you know man purses purses whatever you call them man bags or whatever <clears throat> I got my oldest son a purse <laughs> Because his job, he travels a lot. And so, I'm like, well, when you're on the, you know, it's, it, you know, wasn't nothing big. It, matter of fact, it was for a male. And it was like a backpack. And you, you know, it's kind of like what they call a sling. It kind of slings over one shoulder. And you put, you know, the back, the bag part or pouch part, whatever you want to call it, is on your back. And but he will not carry that bag. I think to him, you know, that's something for women. You know, women should carry purses and men don't carry purses. As a matter of fact, I think both my sons feel that way. I have to ask my youngest son. Um, I just thought that particular bag, because he's always on the road and he travels and he has to keep uh, track of like keys and you know his ID and I mean every person has to keep track of it but because he's constantly on the road all the time you know and um, you know that that would be really good for him but he just uh, and I think he didn't want to tell me that So, I'm, I don't 
know. I should have known because what, not too long ago, him and I were somewhere and um, he saw a man had a bag and I didn't think any of it, anything much of it. You know, I thought it was just, I saw the person reaching for the bag for something and when he walked away, my son was like, you see that, that bag he's got? It's like, it doesn't look like a man's bag. It looked like he borrowed it from his daughter or something like that. And I was like, what? And then when I looked at it, you know, I wouldn't, just to look at it, I wouldn't, autom you know, automatically say, okay, that belongs to a male. Um, it didn't look rugged. It was colorful. And, um, you know, some people, some men like colors and they, you know, they're different. They're unique and they carry, or should I not just carry, but they wear unique stuff. And this gentleman was unique. He had a cowboy hat on, he had cowboy boots on. And I mean, you know, cowboy boots and cowboy hats is, is, is like, you don't, here in Georgia, you don't see a lot of that. Um, at least in the metro Atlanta area, you don't see a lot of people wearing. And matter of fact, his nickname was Cowboy, so I, you know, hey. um, he, he stood out from the rest of the staff at that <laughs> at that particular establishment. So, um, but I should have known by his remark about uh, his bag and you know the way he was dressed and the boots on and all of that um, that son probably wouldn't appreciate a bag <laughs> a merce so let me know what do you know for those of you who have your significant others do they carry merces um, you know your sons your uh, your brothers your your nephews how do they feel about uh, man purses Mercies or man bags or whatever. So, thanks for keeping me company. I am off the interstate now. Um, thanks, guys, for joining. I'm enjoying you guys' comments on my videos and uh, gain some more subscribers. Thank you so much. Um, and check it out. I've been checking out some uh, people that obviously been on YouTube but just didn't know um, seeing them on my feed and then I'll click and watch and enjoying their um, their vlogs and their mukbangs and all of that so um, have an awesome evening afternoon morning whatever time it is in your area Bye -bye.